We're back now with the story of a 21-year-old college student who has never weighed more than 64 pounds. Her name is Lizzie Velasquez, and she suffers from a rare medical condition that prevents her from gaining weight. We're going to speak with her and her family exclusively in just a moment. But first, we get her story from NBC's Janet Shamlian. That's where we're going next. On the campus of Texas State University, she's just another college senior yeah, palling around with friends. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you have to buy stuff, right? And yet weighing just 61 pounds, it's hard not to notice Lizzie Velasquez is very different. Yeah. How does the public treat you? It's, it's, it's hard. They look at me like I'm a monster. I like to say that wherever I go, it's like I walk with an audience because people are constantly looking at me. It's from a place called Chicago Bagel. Although it's often assumed she's anorexic, the truth is Lizzie cannot gain weight. Thank you. Despite consuming as many as 5,000 calories a day, the 21-year-old weighs the same as an average 8-year-old. An average day, breakfast would be maybe a breakfast taco or two, and then after that, maybe like 30 minutes, an hour later, I'm starting to get hungry again. So I'll snack on like chips or cookies or sweets usually. That's, I'm a big junk food eater. What about this? I think you have an issue with realizing what my size is. Her condition is a medical mystery, but doctors say she may have a form of neonatal progeroid syndrome, which can cause fat loss and accelerated aging. Lizzie is also blind in one eye. She was born prematurely, weighing under three pounds. Her mom dressed her in clothes made for dolls. Could this condition claim your life? No, it couldn't. And I don't like to think about it. Um, I live every day to the fullest. I live it as it's my last because with the syndrome, everything is unknown. No salad. The Velasquez are a close family. Her mom, Rita, and dad, Lupe, have raised all their children to be confident and proud. What do you think of how the woman she's turned out to be? She's outstanding. She surpassed everything that I thought she would be. She hopes to be a motivational speaker when she graduates, sharing her story of overcoming obstacles. For today, Janet Shamlian, NBC News, Austin. And Lizzie Velasquez is here with us exclusively along with her parents, Rita and Lupe. Good morning to all of you. Good morning. Yeah. I've got to ask you, Rita, first. You watch this with tears in your eyes. How does, how was it possible that you raised this girl who says people stare at her all the time? Mm -hmm. How was it possible that you raised a girl who would sit here on this couch in front of millions of people and let people look at her with this confidence? I don't know. I just treated her as a normal child. I didn't treat her any differently. She was just our daughter. We just raised her how we knew how to do it, and that's what we did. Lupe? She, you know, all I can say is she was brought into this world with a purpose, and we're all learning from her, and we get our strength from her. And so all we can do is support her and be there for her. In fact, Lizzie, I understand that you convinced them to be here with you <laughs> yeah. on this. You had to talk them into I do, it. I mean, they support me in anything I do. So no matter what it is, if I wanted to jump off a building, I'm sure they would probably try not to t tell me not to do it, but no, I'm sure they'll support me. But um, as long as I get my story out there, they support me 100%. Get your story out there. This is the mission? Yes, definitely. Every single day, my mission is to get my story out there. Why? Because people need to know that no matter what you look like or what you go through in your life, you don't need to be judged because of your outer appearance. And you don't need to let that stop you. You don't need to let the negativity hold you back or keep you from living your life the way you want. Well, then how did you do that, Lizzie? How did you prevent the negativity from tearing you down? I mean, honestly, I'm human. So of course, some of the negativity is gonna hurt and it's gonna upset me. But my dad always tells me I could only have my one sad cry and then you have to move on and look at the positive sides of things and I have to give all of that credit to my parents and to my family because they raised me as if I was nothing different so with I have to when I have to learn from the outside world that yes you are different my mindset is still so you're normal so I'm kind of just like fighting to prove I'm normal even though I'm small so you're teaching other people essentially yes. Yes. You got a feisty daughter, Rita. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, what's the, what's the, what, are the, what did you say to her? Um, it's every day she would, you know, there was days where she had bad days and she would complain about how she looked or how thin she was and all this stuff. And I said, you know, there's always others that are worse, that are have more struggles than you do. Just be grateful and thankful for what you have, your health, 
and that you are doing fine. And that we always were trying to be positive with her. We, we never told her anything different. We never treated her differently. It was always, you can do whatever you want to do. Put your mind to it, and that's it. Just set goals. And she's met almost all her goals that she's accomplished just to get there. Is eating 5,000 calories a day required to have you weigh 60 pounds? No, no, no. Um, honestly, I've never actually really looked at a calorie in my life mm -hmm. just because I've never had to. Well, why do you eat so much, do you think, compared to other people? I get hungry really quickly and I don't eat a lot of big meals. I eat a lot of small meals. So I get full kind of fast. So I just kind of snack throughout the day and I of course have my breakfast, lunch and dinner but I don't have a required amount of food. Has this always been the case when she was even yeah. younger? Yeah, we, she could eat anything. She, I mean, That's what it is. She eats all day long, just small meals, snacking in between mm -hmm. things. But it's never like a full meal that she sits to complete. It's small meals in between, you know, throughout the day. And she does get hungry a lot, you know, so she always is snacking, So, which is hard for us because it's hard for us to keep that kind of food in the house <laughs> with her. She can eat whatever she wants. Meantime, now your daughter's written a book. Yeah. She's written a book to help other people understand. Yes. more deeply. Lupe, your I daughter has written yeah. a book. She, you know, <laughs> when she was in, in middle school, she says, I'm going to grow up. I'm going to be an inspirational speaker. I'm going to write a book. And we said, well, you better think of something to fall back on. And she says, you know what? I'm not even going to dedicate the book to you. You're not believing in me. And, <laughs> about it. and here she is accomplishing her, her mission. And when I read the manuscript, I mean, I was crying, thinking back to when she was a, a, a baby. And I hadn't read it at all because it, it was a collaboration between mom and daughter. And, you know, I wanted to wait for the finished product. And I just sat there laughing and crying. It was just really emotional. Wow. You've I'm just so proud of her, the strength that she has and the courage and determination. Wow. You've taught us all, I think, something of a lesson, Lizzie, this morning. Thank Lizzie you. Velasquez, thank you for joining us. Thank you very and Rita much. Rita and Lupe. Thank you. thank you. Thank you for raising such an exceptional daughter. And the book is called Lizzie Beautiful. And if you want more information about it, you can go to our website at todayshow.com.